I'll do a lucky draw thing. Leave a comment why you want this. Three lucky people, wherever you are in the world, I'll send it to you. And you can make your own Dokoro Zaku. Wouldn't that be lovely? Hello everybody, it's Too Old For Toys here and it's almost Halloween. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish this in time, but this is the closest I've come. I hope you have been making a Halloween Gundam, although it's a Zaku, for this year. Maybe next year I'll finish this. The thing that really helps me is the package that I got from Alan, the McConnor man, from his salt mine hobby shop. He did a 3D printing of the, the, the model that I gave him. And yeah, he gave me the skull. I only wanted the skull, but what he did, he did some extra 3D modeling and he's done a rib cage. So this is what it looked like originally. And you, you cut off all the, the supporting structures and then you end up with this. He, he didn't just send me one, he sent me like three copies. This really helped me and I was able to like wrap that around the chest. So this makes a huge difference. And the head is just like the little Katoki head that I have here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Make my own Dokoro one in one forty four scale. The Heat Hawk. Alan gave me another Heat Hawk as well, which is different from the one you get with the, the high grade. His one has a much nicer blade. So, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be holding a giveaway. This is Alan's salt mine thing. If you want to buy a set, come here. Because I've got like extra heads, two chest pieces, two extra heat hawks. So I can't make use of them, but somebody out there on the internet can. So, um, letters on a postcard. This is going to be a video that's sponsored by McConnor Man's Salt Mine Hobby Shop. I'll put a link in the description for his YouTube channel and what kind of stuff he sells on his shop. This is what I got from him. Thank you very much. Another thing that I need to do is, this is glow in the dark pigment powders. It fluoresces under ultraviolet and also if you charge it up, it, glow, it actually glows in the dark without uh, UV light. It's more bluey than greeny to mix things up a bit. Things that I've learnt. I really wish I didn't use this Tamiya putty. It's like working with Tipex. It's very, it's like a slurry. It's just too wet uh, as a putty for me. I, I really wish I'd done this using Milliput, which is easier to sculpt. Yeah, that's the thing, you can't sculpt it because it, you just squirt it out and it's all squidgy. Oh well, we'll have to continue. So now that it has dried, it's hard. So I'm going to be going over it with some sandpaper and a file. Yeah, I do like that it's it's three dimensional, but I don't like well it didn't come out perfectly. So other things I I would probably do differently. I used black paint, but uh, I think the use of a slightly dark grey or a bluey grey would be nice for this. So that's another thing I could I could change up. So I'll, I'll keep working on it and make it nice. Hopefully it will be presentable by this time next year. Thanks again to McConnor man, Alan, from his salt mine hobby shop. Bye for now.